street, but me, 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 everybody's spitting and shit, yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be uh, making a quick tutorial on uh, some some of the best uh, render settings for DaVinci Resolve, so that your videos can look uh, can have good quality, so they don't look shit pixelated and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be showing. Okay, so let's say you have your project. Uh, you want to render it first of all i like to add actually i like to add some sharpen to uh, to the project so you just all over all of the effects and everything you just add an adjustment clip and then you go into open effects and you add the effect called sharpen you need sapphire plugins i just add that and you can see it looks weird but you change it to point two and then it would uh, one point point one point two up to you i like to use point two um so that would make your uh that would make it look have some better quality um so yeah so for the render settings you want to go up to file and then project settings and you can see you have the frame rate at 60 i hope um <laughs> uh, and then you want to change this to 2560 uh, and 1440 or you can change it to uh, to 4k uh but that's up to you it takes a little bit longer to uh, to render it in 4k but again that's up to you so if you have this at 2560 um just change it to 2k uh 1080p 60 like that or if you have 4k you just change it to the bottom one um so yeah then you press save and then you press deliver like if you want to render it uh, then you choose a name and you change choose where you want like uh, the, the video to be on your computer and you want to change uh, the quality to automatic best I just use that because I don't know yeah that's quick and easy um, and as you can see all of this is fine you don't want to mess with that uh, just choose quick time and <laughs> Yeah, you can just choose the i use the h264 uh, because i think that looks best and then you just add it to render queue uh you, of course choose the file and then you press render all when it comes up here that's that's basically it um that's the render settings i use and i think they they look pretty good uh so yeah uh, okay i hope this uh, this video helped thank you guys a lot for watching yeah i'll see you in the next video